Hello there, welcome to another video. So, I decided to check out the dot files that you end up getting with Hyper Premium, or Hyper Perks as it's called. And here it is. This is it. It's completely comprised of Quickshell. I believe there's something called Walker, which is uh, an application menu. As you can see, it's right here. It actually looks kind of nice, but I'm not a fan of it. And I'm not a fan of these dot files at all. There are several or more things they could do to improve it, but I'll leave that till the end of the video. First things first, I need to change this ugly ass wallpaper. So I'm going to grab hyper paper. I think it's actually, it's called wall something wallpaper. Yeah, let's just, uh, we're going to use this one because I need to get some niceness in my life. Okay. So let's start with this bar over here. So this is where your notifications are going to be. It's kind of like N4 uh, because one of the develop the developer of N4 worked on this along with the developer of Quickshell. So yeah, I wouldn't call this a desktop experience, but it's it's interesting. So this is where you'll control everything. As you can see, you can have the bar on the top, the bottom. Uh, you can have a gap if you wanted to. Like, see that. Like if you wanted to, you could just have that floating just off by one pixel and then another gap to it brings it in, right? So one and one, that looks great. Uh, there's the height. You can make the bar nice and thick or nice and small. We're actually going to keep it semi thick here and uh, you can make it completely flat without any corners and you can give it all the corners in the world. I am a bit disappointed this doesn't go up to 30, but whatever. Now for this this is your workspaces so you can go all the way up to 15 but honestly it's best to keep it at five because you know having anything more just looks ridiculous uh active indicator look at that you can stretch that out or you can just keep it into little squares little circles little swirk circles look honestly better than those chonkers uh, you got your battery, you got your incorrect weather, and even if you set the correct location, ugh, it doesn't, it's not a very good weather implementation at all. Uh, it, it just gets the weather wrong the whole time. I, I honestly hope they find a better implementation. If they need to borrow one, they can take it from my dot files. I don't mind. So this is for the panels. So transparency off and on. Uh, there's a border. So if you want a really clean look, you can get rid of the border. Compact or maximized. Doesn't really do anything. Uh, can we just like... Oh, look at that. Yeah, let's put that at 0 0.7. I think that looks good. So what this does, it gets rid of the uh, bars off of the other monitors. Uh, freeing up your space, of course. So that's pretty cool. And there's pure per monitor brightness control. This takes away the color away from your... Uh, if you have any tray icons open, it's a really pointless and ugly uh, implementation. This is definitely from N4. I've always hated it. So this is on the screen display. This is your timeout duration, 700 seconds by the looks of it. And you can change your font. You can have a uh, native rendering and non-native rendering. Honestly, I like native rendering best. Date format. There's a beta channel as well. And uh, it tells you some stuff, so that's pretty good. So, that's that side. On this side, you got your Wi-Fi, you got your Bluetooth, you got your brightness, uh, night light, and your audio. Doesn't show input, unfortunately. I'm hoping they improve this down the road, but <sighs> yeah, that's uh, almost it. Here is your cheat sheet right here. This one scrolls, this one does not. So you can open up a terminal by clicking Windows Q, which honestly is a horrible decision. It should be Windows Q to close a window. Um, you want to close a window, you can press Windows C, as you saw right there. You want to open up a browser, it's the super key plus E. And um, if you want to open up the menu, it's super R. Now, I have some issues. One, I can't get into my drive. Two, this is one of my drives. Three, 
I can't get into my drives. So it doesn't have uh, environmental variables uh, set up properly, which is unfortunate. It does use Dolphin, which is also unfortunate. So yeah, um, that kind of sucks that they didn't set that up properly. I hope they end up fixing that. I doubt it, but again, I hope they fix it because it would be very nice to have that working. So the real question is, do I like the dot files? The answer is no, I don't. They're too simplistic. They're kind of weird and it just feels like a failed experiment. It less of a final product. Uh, I'm sure they're taking feedback, but let me give you some feedback real quick. Okay. Uh, to do this, I need to open up desktop because I need to go find something. And I believe it's in here. Uh, it's a friend of mine's dot files, Lysek. He's really awesome. And he has his own dot files that he made. And uh, we're going to go there. So this is Noctula or whatever it is. I don't know. It's some weird ass name. And if we scroll down where well, there used to be pictures, there they are. Uh, if we look here you can see that his honestly look a lot better. They're a lot cleaner. They have the same sort of cliche style, everything like that. But if we look over here, look what he's got. Look how cool this looks. Everything is just neater and more functional and it looks really great. And they also have a built-in app menu, which again is literally perfect. I love this. So in here you control most of your stuff you know, settings, record, wallpaper. There's a wallpaper changer. I, I honestly love this. This is brilliant. This is what needs to be done in these dot files. Okay. He's made what I would describe as a desktop experience closer to a DE than anything. And he's had help lately from the Pico S developers which has been really, really nice, and a lot of other developers as well, which is interesting. So it's a really good growing project, and I think it needs to get a lot more attention. Uh, he's done really, really well. Like, I could actually use these dot files. That's how good he's made them. So, I don't know. Maybe contact Lysek, you know? Uh, just figure out all of this because this would be way cleaner and way better than what you currently have going on because this is just kind of limited it's nice to have all this control but again what's the point of control when it's just so basic and bare bones we need a control panel that's not shoved off to the side okay we need a separate settings panel that actually has everything we need uh, the ability, a wallpaper changer would be number one. Okay. Uh, this off to the side is weird. Okay. Definitely put this in the center and then take this, put this off to the side. Swapping those two places would be fantastic. Another thing is implement what's called an IP based geo location tag thing. So it automatically detects you from at least a foot away from your location proper implementation for weather that would be fantastic because this is always wrong i'm nowhere near charlottetown it would be a big improvement also having this type of weather scenario where it shows like a five day weather forecast or even a scrollable seven or ten is amazing i i would love that that would be amazing there's a lot of different things that you can do to improve upon these dot files and this is just a few of them. <sighs> but my main goal here is support the Hyperland developers. Simple as that. They're fantastic people. They deserve to be supported. They do a lot of good hard work. And it would be nice to have Vaxery working full time on this. To be able to iron out whatever issues remain. Or give us more features. This is just one of the plus sides. 
I've already checked out the forum. It's really archaic. It needs to be updated to a more modern aesthetic that isn't so ancient and messy, but it's getting there. That's what matters. Yeah. Also, I have this weird bug where my mouse is stuck right here. You don't see it, but it is actually stuck and it's annoying. Yeah, other than that, I don't really have any issues. It's uh, it's it's very work in progress. And um, it needs a lot of work. Yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think after walking through this with me. I'll see you guys in the next video. If you're new here, subscribe. Check the playlist in the description below to learn about Linux. Either it doesn't matter if you're brand new. Uh, you're a, a past user of Linux. We're all learning. Let's keep learning. Uh, hit the like button, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody. Support your developers. They matter.